Okay, there we go. We focused in. Okay, it's been a while, but you know, it's been busy. But I've been putting this off for way too long, so I just had to make this video right now. I'm currently in Dallas at my parents' home. I have this. Wait, I got this box right here. And this is a knife. I finally decided to splurge and like, I'm like, I'm in the kitchen all the time nowadays. I will get myself a nice knife. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. I, I, I'm totally not of the, what's it called? The uh, instant gratification as I got this, like this is a $200 knife from Japan. And I've had it for about a week or maybe two weeks and I've just left it unopened, so. It is now finally time to open it up because I kind of need to use it. So here we go. Got a little. I'm not even using the box cutter. I'm using these cheap scissors. It's not even working. All right, let's get, uh, let's get the box cutter up in here. Having PTSD from box cutter from watching uh, Breaking Bad. How do you open this box, anyways? Okay. Uh, this is the correct way to open the box. I'm pretty hyped. I was pretty hyped when I bought this thing and then, I don't know, it was just too busy. And I wanted to like open it in a video, but I had no time to record a video. So now finally I have time, so no excuses here. Okay, it's, it is open. This looks sick. Wow, look at this packaging. Mm-hmm. Open it up. All right, nice. Look at this. Oof. Snap, that's pretty sick. Sakai Takayuki. I think, is that not the name of the Iron Chef guy? I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure that's the name of the Iron Chef. Safely delivered. All right, there's like, I don't know what this is. Let's see what this is. Okay, carefully packed, disinfected. All right, very good. Dear customer, oh, you get $5 off the next order. That's not a lot considering how much these knives cost, but you know, still, that's something. All right, let's open the box now. The moment we've all been waiting for, and I've been waiting for, and not done. Woo! Look at the handle. Look at the wood. Look at this. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. It's very nice. Okay. And oh snap. It is covered with what appears to be some Japanese newspaper. Or I don't know, dude. Some paper. Paper. Oh! <gasps> Here comes the unsheathing. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh, it's like cut through the paper because it's so sharp. Ooh, man. Damn. Holy. Let's focus on this. Oh my God. This is crazy. Ooh. Yeah, wow, that is sick. <sighs> yeah, so <I'd, laughs> I just wanted to do so I finally have like an actual chef's knife that I can use all the time for myself. Like how sharp is this out of the box? It looks pretty sharp. Oh, it's so smooth on the, the cutting edge, my goodness. I need to, I need to better my burr, burr cutting. And let's test it out by cutting this piece of paper. See how sharp it is, you know? Because I've sharpened the knives you've seen, or I don't know if you've seen me sharpen some knives. They get pretty dang sharp. Let's see how this one is straight out the box. Shall we? Look, it cut through, it cut through what was holding it. Okay, ready? Is it focused? Oh my, oh my, holy. Okay, 
Okay, I need to improve my cutting my sharpening skills because my knives are not this sharp. Not this sharp. This is insane. Holy crap. Oh yeah. Okay, well <laughs> I just wanted to make this video because I was like, I'm I need to open this now, so I need to make a video out of it. Um Yeah, that's gonna end this one. Really absolutely no point. Just wanted to show you this knife unboxing. This is a what is this exactly? Let me show, let me read what this is. This is a um, Sakai Takayuki Aogami Super Kudouchi, Kudouchi Hammered W A Japanese Chef's Kengata. Kengata means like uh, sword style, which is this tip you see that's cut right here, or the way it's like this. This is sword style, which is the Kengata, and it is a Gyuto, which is kind of like a Japanese chef's knife. And the algami is a type of steel, so they're very, um, Japanese knives, they're very, the type of steel is very important, the steel core, because they've got different sharpness and hardness durability values. And algami, which is the like super blue steel, uh, is one of the hardest, sharpest edges there is, so, yep, that's gonna be, that's that, that's so crazy. Okay, yeah, well... That's gonna end this one. Now I'm gonna go use this, so see you in the next one. Ma, what do you think about this knife? Look at this!